Brittany Escobar is a morning news anchor at KLBK in Lubbock. We sat down with her to find out what she thinks about selfies in the professional broadcast world. You know, I think once you're already in the business, it's it's a good thing to do because people like to know who you are and what you're doing. But they also would like to know that you're a professional and that you're doing the things that um, you should be doing as far as the way you behave, the, you know. And it's also important to keep in mind, if you're not in that position quite yet, say you're still a student trying to get that job or maybe you're in a transition between you know, being a news personality trying to get into a different job, you may not want to post some pictures just because they may not be appropriate. Um, and people do use social media to find people and to look at what people are doing. And so I think that's important to keep in mind. Should there be a different standard for people in the media and their average person on the street? Oh, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. I think there is a big difference because you are a public figure. People are watching you. They are watching your every move. And it's kind of bad to say, but they're kind of waiting for you to, to see what you do next and to see if maybe you fumble um, just because you are put in that light. And you're putting yourself in that light, and you know that. And so it is very different. People do keep a close eye on you versus, you know, if you aren't in the media and you're just just a, a regular person. Would it have been different if you came to this business five years before or this whole or the emergence of the self taking selfies on mm -hmm. Instagram and I, I think there is a big difference. I think it's um, definitely within the past couple years become more popular. It did have that presence five years ago, but more people are getting into it. It's becoming a, an everyday thing. You know, you see people on their phones constantly, and so it, it has become more and more popular, which makes it a little different. Um, I just, I don't like the idea that people are so glued to their phones. Um, but it is what it is. It's just the way technology is always improving, always changing. And you just have to keep up with it. And, and that goes for, you know, what you post or what you like, what you look at. And so that's just the way it is. What is your advice to uh, uh, graduating, uh, graduating seniors from the College of Media and Communication, finding a job, and how to manage their social media presence? I think they definitely need to, to monitor that. I know um, you're the person that is looking to hire you, that's the first thing, first thing they're going to look at once you send in your resume or application. Um, I know at our station that's the first thing we do. We immediately type in that name that we get on the resume. Um, and it, it's just the way it is. And what comes up when they type your name in better be good. Um, it better not be anything that would show that you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing or um, something that wouldn't look right in, in the public side because at that point, when they are looking for that, it, it shows that you could be a risk to the business or to the company that you're looking to work for. So definitely monitor it, keep tabs on it. If you have to deactivate all your social media things that you have running that people could find if you if it's something you don't want them to see and if it's something that you don't want them to see it probably shouldn't be up there in the first place reporting for la vista this is halima fasasi